Great save. Saving disasters right and left Woo! here. We got the whole crew out here. <laughs> <laughs> They're on call today. Welcome to NLU Film Room. I'm Kevin Van Valkenburg, the company's editorial director, meaning I'm the point person behind most of the written content at NoLayingUp.com. I'm an ex-football player who loves golf, but didn't pick up the game until I was in my 30s, meaning my homemade swing is a series of band-aids, compensations, and wishful thinking. I generally shoot in the mid-80s and can even go lower on a good day, but potential disasters are always lurking. That's why we figured I'd be a great candidate for Film Room, sponsored by ServPro, where our resident touring professional Justin Huber is going to talk me through some of my decision-making and swings under pressure. With over 2,100 locations covering 97% of zip codes nationwide, ServPro is faster to any size disaster and open 24-7. That sounds ideal when analyzing my golf game. Let's get to it. I was down to a six like a year ago. It started to like kind of get the yips a little bit, kind of just way too much tension. I think like that's one of the biggest things is just too much tension. I'm hitting the ball far enough to where like I can hit pretty much every green, but I just don't really like, I'll miss greens and then I'll just won't get up and down. It'll be a sort of sloppy yeah. chip. I know I set up like way closed. I think I get lazy and lift my arms instead yeah. of like getting fully Turn it back. back behind it. And, really and so I, what's helped sometimes is thinking like on the tee, like just a, one thought of like, all right, just finish your freaking turn. Yeah. Like don't quit halfway, even if you're tired, at least like, come get all back, the way back so can... and then come all the way through. I like it. That's probably what I'll be thinking today. Like could just get my left shoulder kind of at least where it's almost like touching my chin instead yeah. of, you know, lifting up like that. I don't want to do a ton of, call it swing mechanic adjustments, but if there's something in your setup that we can tweak, something that you can nail every time for one feel, maybe it's like you said, that, that shoulder hitting your chin, maybe it's your chest stretching back, something that kind of keys to where you can deliver that club and not not yank from the top to where you start hitting it more flush and getting the ball kind of tracking down towards your target. I'd love to talk about how you read greens and stuff too. I mean, like I literally cannot read like grain, you know, I've, I've never thought, oh, like grain's going against me here, so I need to do this or whatever. Yeah. I pick out a, a dot and I'm like, I'm gonna roll it over that dot. And hopefully I can kind of coach you into being comfortable on your putts, being committed to your line and not saying, well, you know, I hope if I roll it over this, it'll get close. I want to be focused on if I hit this spot, the ball's gonna go in the hole. Like 43 is probably a good goal today. Like I, I shoot you shoot in the mid 80s. Never played the course before. Uh, you know, if I think if I came out and shot 42, 41 somewhere there, I'd be thrilled. 43 yep. would be like, okay, that was good. The disaster we're gonna clean up today. Shout out Surf Pro is the messiness around the greens, trying to eliminate a spot where you could get it up and down and you end up making a six. Getting balls closer to the hole, more comfortable with the putts, and hopefully eliminate the doubles. Love it. Let's do it. We're playing the white tees today. Yes. We got 6,100, so we're right around 3,000 yards for this side. What's your typical shot shape? Walk me through that. I typically hit a fade. I, I would say when I hit it uh, well, it goes straight. And when I hit it okay, it goes right. When I hit it uh, poorly, it goes way right. I okay. Often miss with driver left. Okay, so then we can kind of buffer in you to a side to where it maximizes your fairway. We want you at the very right edge of that left bunker to where if you hit it dead straight, it's not going in the bunker. And if you cut it, you got 30 yards to play with. That makes sense? Perfect. Yeah. So I miss it right as... I think you should be okay. I push a drive a little bit right. Uh, gets a little lucky, it's got a little window there. We're on the first hole and you have a, an opportunity here to just hit a call it sensible shot. You got 85 yards. In a scenario like this, what would you typically try to do? So I would be sitting here telling myself, all right, my normal sand wedge goes about 85, 90 yards. Okay. I would be worried a little bit about hitting that branch uh, just because of um, I don't hit wedges low. If you say your sand wedge goes 85, we're not gonna hit it. We're gonna club up, we're gonna hit our gap wedge and you're gonna hit a little chippy, like kind of three quarter shot. Doesn't need a ton of speed, just right towards the kind of the left opening in the green there and try to give yourself a look. Move it a ball or two back in your stance and really focus on that like, kind of like left front edge of the green. Money. Let's freaking go! Come on, Let's big go. daddy! Let's go! Hit, in some ways, like the best shot of the day. 
Fantastic uh, Right there, perfect contact, goes to 10 feet or whatever, 12 feet. You kind of mentioned how I read putts. Yeah. I do two things. Okay. I try to find my max break, and then I find a spot kind of halfway that I need to roll it by. Okay. And that's kind of my, that's my focus. And you can kind of aim your line at that and go, this is where I need to roll it. Okay. And then it just becomes a feel. Come on, come on. Great putt. Okay. That's great. Like you got, it caught the left and we just, it didn't actually get back to the right. It just yeah. kind of straightened out. Great work. For Randy, you're going to hit cups here. <laughs> you got to touch them all. I love it. Great four. Okay. Prime example of like what I'm talking about of like, okay, I didn't hit a great drive, but all of a sudden I'm standing on the green with like a 12 footer that I could actually. And if you go with sand wedge there, which had the ability to hit that tree. So you took a club that wasn't going to hit it and took a club that got a little past the hole and you had a look. That's perfect. This one, I love a, a full shot into the screen. I don't like pushing it down there all the way next to it. If you can hit something, call it 210 okay. off the tee, I yeah. think that leaves you a pitching wedge in. Okay. I have a four iron that uh, hit a couple times that I've liked. Same kind of shot with the irons, they fall in right. Yeah. One of my biggest problems is, is like I, I hold the club like that. You know, yeah. that's tension too instead yeah. of like letting it flow. Yeah, just it's get just... it's good to have like a firm grip pressure, uh -huh. but relax your arms. Yeah. That like don't carry the tension all the way up. You can you can grip it aggressively, mm -hmm. but try to take the tension out of there. And your your line here is just inside that that last bunker. Money in the bank, baby. Great shot. Thanks. 11, hit a four iron off the tee. Really pretty good four iron. 112, big dog. So that's a little in between, you know, like in my sort of assessment of this in my own game, I'd be like, all right, you're probably gonna miss hit it a little. So hit it, like hit a pitching wedge and you'll give yourself the best chance to get on the yeah. green other than hitting a great gap wedge. What's a comfortable gap wedge that's not like hammered? 105. We got 98 to cover the water. Call it 100 is safe. It, this, this, this boils down to what you're comfortable with. If you're more comfortable with a full swing, as long as you hit the gap wedge solid, it covers. If you take the same kind of shot you hit on the last hole, but with pitching wedge, it's probably perfect number. Okay. So let's do that. God damn it. <laughs> Get over. If we could have one swing back today, uh, that might be the one of like, hey, just, just hit, a gap, hit wedge. a gap wedge the right distance. Yep. Give yourself 20 feet. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I should have just not been scared and just said, that's the shot I should have hit. And it's okay. I just sometimes, you know, I'll hit them chunky and I think like, ah, oh, it's not going to go 100. It's going to go 90 and then I'm screwed. You have to play expecting to hit it solid. And that's the best mindset to get in. It's really difficult to hit good shots when you're worried about hitting a bad shot. Where do you want to drop? I know we have 111 here. Yeah, I mean, I, I could go up to like 90 and hit a full sand wedge. Let's do that. Golf shot. Perfect. All right. This could be our serve pro cleanup moment of the round right here, if we can roll this in. All right, your ball has to roll just outside of that mark to go in. Yeah. Oh, just missed ah! it. Dang it. Okay. All right, good well, speed, good speed. There's that double. There's our double that we were trying to avoid. But you at least gave yourself a decent look at five, hit a good putt, and Sometimes you're gonna hit a bad shot. We're not in a terrible spot at this point. We're gonna tee up on the right side of the box here. So you have as much room to play with uh -huh. on the right side, and your target is the, the pin. Wow, okay. You, you'll cover all the bunkers. bunkers. Okay. You hit it straight, you'll be money. If it tails a little bit, you're fine. All right, walk me through like your little thought process. Yeah. Uh, deep breath, exhale, uh, think about, let's try to have a good smooth tempo. Um, deal. I think that's perfect. Oh, get through. Oh, my Unfortunately, there's a, a touch of a pull, hits the tree, drops straight down. All right, should, would you hit three wood here? Nope. Like, no? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so first, I'd come look at the lie. Okay. I would not hit a wood. Okay. There's a bunker up there, probably at 200. I think that's kind of your max. Okay. What do you hit your five iron? Uh, I'd say about 190. That's that's through your club. Fairway bunkers, 
slides like this where it's really, really key to hit ball first, I look at a dimple towards the front of the golf ball. That draws my eye a little further forward and ensures that my club's hitting ball first. And then just same, same swing. Okay. Well, I hit a little fat, but all right. just did advanced it. And got a chance to get it on the green. Yes, sir. Fairway. All right, 250. Okay. What's a hybrid go? Uh, 220. Five wood maybe goes 230. Three wood could go 250. I like five wood to where if you nut it, it's going in front of the green. If you miss, we have some room to pitch. Okay. This is a tiger called this five wood is old man club, so I'm definitely, we're about the same age, me and Tiger. <laughs> Oh, get after it, big fella. A little right, but that's okay. At least it's around. He walked after it too. It's flush. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. This is kind of why I wanted you to hit five wood and not three wood. Yeah. Now you can pitch up at it. If you hit three wood and miss it sideways, then the pitch becomes a lot more difficult. What club you got? Uh, sandwich, 56. Perfect. We don't have to overthink this yeah. and get technical. You, just, you try to envision a spot on the green just over the fringe. God damn it, that was just what I could feel coming. That's the disaster right there. That's me like You're worried thinking, about junking her. Worried about her. doing this. And All right. so I just stand up. You got up. a ball in your pocket? I do. I'm going to change your setup a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to open it just a little bit more okay. and put your hands back just a, smi just a smidge. There you go. Long swing without a ton of hit at the bottom, just a long, flowy one. Okay. We can't be afraid of hitting the ground. I want it to sound like that. You don't have to hit just perfect ball first. It needs to be slightly open without a ton of shaft lean, and then you can make a, a smoother, smoother swing. You don't have to just attack at the ball. Just feel the weight of the club head. There. Yeah. Okay. This, we need disaster relief. Yeah. We need to avoid something crazy. We got this for par. You need something on the green. I brought your seven iron. The ball will be back in your stance. Okay. Your handle will be kind of high. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to kind of make a glorified big putting stroke. Okay, we're going to do it again. Slow down. Stop. Stop. All right. Left edge. All right, I like that. Just focus more on your speed here. Yeah. Talk to me, Goose. Come on, baby, get in Come there! Come on, baby! Oh. <laughs> oh, that was enormous. Oh. We avoided <laughs> back to back double. Some just double. Felt like a birdie. <laughs> really did. We needed that. If a triple, triple's tough to come back from. Doubles are hard, but at least you you have a fighting chance. 85. When I max out six, it goes 85. Uh, but you know, if you're telling me like don't miss short, I would hit five. So. Let's stop you there. When you said a max out six goes 85. Yeah. That's how far we have. Okay. So it's a full six iron. I want you to hit a six iron right at the big tree in the back of the green. Okay. Oh, I towed it just in front of Yankee. Go! Carry! Go! Ah. I don't have to coach you through this one. This is a, it's a bunker shot. Yep. Oh, no! Sit! I don't know why that happened, because I... Rushed. Rushed, okay. That's the top, like, that's, your speed is, that was a yank down. Let the club drop down and then let it pass. So you can see the ball position is slightly ahead. Mm -hmm. I want where my club enters the sand to be in the middle of my stance. That's why the ball is like maybe an inch or two up. Right there. That's perfect. Money. Yeah. All your focus on here is just kind of your contact. If you hit it solid, it'll roll and speed up the hill. Go. You hit it and just lack the pace. Okay. Rolled right over. We got to look. It's going to hook a little left. Somewhere out in here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talk to me, girl. Okay. What's your name? <laughs> My man. 
Great save. Saving disasters right and left Woo! here. We got the whole crew out here. <laughs> you don't have to keep you know, compounding the errors or hitting bad shots. You can get out of it with one good shot, one good putt, and and uh, was it, you were able to save bogey on that one. It's 286 over that, like the far right bunker, so you're looking at probably 275 to it. Okay. So that's probably like a stretch. I mean, I could yeah, go in there, but I think it most likely would not. Deal. You're teeing up over here on the right side for your fade. Okay. <laughs> How about this? You're going to get up to it, give it your last look, and breathe out. And at the end of your breath, yank it. Okay. This game sucks, man. <laughs> 64, I guess. Okay. That's too much for an eight iron. That's What's an eight iron go? I mean, 60. Okay, That's a, it's an eight iron. Okay. From this lie. Okay. You got a little grass behind it. This uh -huh. one is going to come out with a little less spin. I'm not gonna call it like a super jumper, but it's not going to be like you're hitting from the fairway. A little thin, but. Hold on. Wait for it. Go. Okay. Frickin money. We back. That's how we do. A good miss. Come on. That's 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 the beauty of that club right there. That's why we hit the eight iron. Yeah. You missed a little bit. It's a touch short. Flushy seven goes long. And you got a big downhill bender. Now we're putting right up at it. Yep. Just focus on your speed. Come back. Come back. Come back. <laughs> it was in the jaws. I got so tickled. Oh. I knew it was coming back. I thought it had enough pace. Dang it. Oh, I just was ready to give it like the pump. Like we just made three bombs. Like, let's go. All right, KVV. In a shot like this where you have bunkers right, yeah. what are you telling yourself? I need to start the ball in a spot where if it fades, it's still going to be OK. It's going to sort of run yep. along the right edge of where the, the mounting is. and. But that's the worst scenario. I don't want you focusing on what's the worst thing that happens. Your only focus, I'm going to rip it right at that tree and then swing. Money. Watch where this one comes down. Yeah, that felt good. That felt... Two yards left of the tree. That looked ready, committed, boom. When you pulled off the tee shot, now you can get home in two. We have to try to take advantage of that. 222. Okay. If you hit a money five wood, it covers front edge. If not, you're just short and you're golden. Cut a little, cut a little. Man. Bunker. Yeah, that's fine. That's in reality, the right miss here is no good. Yep. That's why I bumped you like playing for the fade but left. I know that bunker shot, you're gonna be pitching back up at it, right, you're going away. So we're gonna go handle that one. That, the, those probably, that probably doesn't fade one out of 10 times. So and that was the one that it didn't and fade. And that's so okay. That like right. that's, I'd rather it play for the one that doesn't yeah. than move it over to the right for the five that do fade and miss it short right. Yeah. That was the, the perfect club. It's just the one club all day that didn't really fade. <laughs> you need the ball a little further up. There you go. That's money, you're gonna hit a beauty. Let's go. Go. Let's go. Let's go, Big Daddy. Come on. Come on with your yeah. bad self. Let's go. I want your first bunker shot compared to that side by side. And you're going to be like, ah. Like, I really tried to hit it that hard. Awesome. Awesome golf shot. Our focus is still the same. We're going to find the line, and you're going to hit it solid. This is a perfect little look here. So light spot, grain's going right there. So it'll pull your ball a little bit to the right. I'm looking. So I gotta get it outside. I'm looking at half a ball outside the left ball outside. edge. Okay. Shoved it. Fooey! Gosh, dog it. I just, I had too much. I was like, I could feel it like shaking. I should have stepped away. I should have made that putt. That was probably the one putt where I didn't commit yep. uh, today, where it was like, hey, just, you see the line, roll it in. Yep. Uh, and it's, and you don't have to overthink those. It's just to pick my line left edge just outside and just flush it like don't there's no no other thoughts need to creep in on that 140 on the dot so nine iron probably goes 45. yeah i still think because we have a little and we had a little hurt 
So that, that 40 number is playing at least 45, where if you can make a comfy nine iron swing, even if it comes up 20 feet short, and if the wind hits it, you're golden. Oh! I wanted so bad to make a good swing through there. And now that it's kind of like that chip. Feel the club head, feel the weight of the club head. Don't yank it, don't, don't feel the handle yank. Like feel the weight of the club head coming down to the ball. I'll show you this. When someone yanks from the top, it gets here. And the only way to get it from here is to really, really turn. Most people aren't gonna do that. But when you get here and the club drops itself, the, the club head, then it just goes. And so if you can be patient in this first six inches of transition and not feel like you're just yanking and feel the weight of that club head, and be like, club head drops and speeds up, that's going to allow you to hit it better. Yes. Yeah, it's so much better. Yes. Gosh, that transition move is so much different. Maybe I should have just taken ego out of it and said, like, just hit a normal eight, and if an eight goes 140, like, that's a good result. It's not a, yeah. like a, a indictment of your skills as a golfer. Like, yeah, that's... it's just a commitment thing. And the subconscious is so powerful. If you think you have to hammer it, in reality you don't, you make that swing. It's like, a smooth one gets me on the green. That's all I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to give myself looks. You're looking at six feet right of the hole, on the green. It's all right, we're on. Okay, one setup, change. You had it very square faced, which is why that grabbed and went left because it hits this part of the club, hit the ground first, shut it down. You need it to be open to where the toe is going to hit to slide through. Money, yeah. It's all right, we got to look. Let's go, let's go make a bomb. It was a little right early, okay, but not much. Uphill, thin to the grain. Focus on your speed and hitting it solid. Oh, I pushed it right. It's okay, speed's good. That's the most important part. Now you got to tap in. Most important part on a putt of length is speed. You can miss it three foot either direction if your speed's good and you got a three footer. We got two left. Six over. Two pars, gets it done, but instead of kind of projecting that, we need four swings. Four committed golf swings. Give yourself a chance, and that's all we can do. So right here, I, I like you setting up down the, on the right side of the box again. Okay. I'm teeing it up here, and I'm looking, honestly, just right at the pen. Okay. Kind of the left edge of that bunker up there, and I'm, I'm sending it. Take him to Tempo Town, baby! Duckies! Pipeline! God, I'm just trying so hard to not grip the club at the top. That's what you can work on, is just, I don't know, slow from the top. I don't like to use the word slow in a swing because you need speed, but easy from the top. Club, club comes down and then we go. It's not club yanks and then I have to try to back out. As good as like I could probably hit it uh, and I'm leaving myself, you know, what should have been an easy pitching wedge uh, just to the middle of the green, left of the flag. It's a driving range pitching wedge. Smooth tempo, flush it. Oh! So fast from the top, uh, just blah. Again, like everything was fine until here, and then it just didn't even let it get to the top. We, uh, we're gonna have a bit of a pickle up here. We're gonna have to maneuver it to make a five at worst to give ourselves a shot at the last hole. Try to hit it on the green, or we could try to hit it over there and avoid the bunker. If you hit it out of the straw with a wedge to try to go at it, uh -huh. chances are it's going to be very fluffy. We're at six over, and we got one shot to play with. Mm -hmm. If you get your ball to the fringe area right of the bunker, you're gonna two-putt that all day. I think <laughs> through this, like you just need it rolling. Do you, are you okay with a seven? Yeah. It'll just run up and we can make a five. Oh boy. Money. I don't know though, it's too much. It's okay, it's off the back, It's it's, Closely mown, we can put it back up. It's fine. Honestly, I think you can putt it. Okay. I like a putter. I like it too. I might have a chance with the wedge, but. Uh... You, you have a better percentage with that. Yeah. And you're looking in here. Oh. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. What do you think of left edge? I love that. Kind of just try to freaking save it. Oh man. All right. 
We're gonna make something happen on the last. This is it. Bottom of the ninth, two out. I've made birdies before. Okay, last one was really good. Tension was good. Let's recreate that. See the left green side bunker up yes, there? Yes, that was my thought as that well. That is it. No, darn it. Dang, baby. That's in it. Isn't like a hazard there? Nope. We'll be fine. Yeah, you're grass. You're just, we're just gonna have to cut one. It's okay. 140. That's all it is. Gosh, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, how can we get a putt? I think your two options are back footing a six iron and just scooting it up there, or we're going at the left bunker trying to cut it. So if I'm gonna hit this shot with my six iron, this ball's going towards the back of my foot, I'm not taking a big wide stance because I don't have to hit it real hard. I'm going back here with kind of the toe in a little bit. I don't want the club face open. And I'm making a, like that. Take off low, fly in the fairway there, and then just run up. You can, you can hit this shot. No. For someone of my skill, I gotta practice like punch shots, like yeah. I, I, cause I'm gonna need those to sort of give myself chances yeah. at, at bogeys. And that's, that's something I think a lot of amateurs don't, don't think of doing is practicing the recovery. And it's not like a, I'm not trying to help it up. I want to honestly drive it down into the ground yeah. where yeah. the finish is low and you're, it just stays low. It's not a high finish, it's a three quarter, Right at the bottom. Well, let's just throw this in, why not? Yeah. 74 yards. Shot. Go make a putt. Gosh! Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh. Oh. Good roll. Dang. Enjoy it, brother. Me too. Nice. Yes. You gave yourself a chance, and sometimes, yeah. sometimes messes happen. And I'd say we didn't clean it up. Okay. Um, too many doubles. Three doubles. And that, if we if we turn those into bogeys today, you, know. you, you beat the number by a couple. So, you're gonna you're gonna hit some bad shots. That's just that's the reality of it. It's. It's a recovery. How quick can you recover and, and make it a bogey and, and not a double? And I was impressed towards the end of how the driver was working. Um, we hit some really good ones. We just got to clean up that transition and not yank down from the top. Let the club do its work. You don't have to hammer it. It's just a nice, smooth swing, and the ball's going to fly. It's going to carry. It's going to travel. I feel like I want to go home and hit like a thousand like tension free shots and just start to sort of like rebuild like where it gets back. Today had had some pressure to it yeah. and you can see how the tension is increased with a little bit of pressure and you have a number you have a goal that you have to try to accomplish and that's going to be key for you the more you play is getting that tension out even in the moments where you feel pressure you feel nerves all right you can do it we're gonna do this again my messes will be cleaned up sir pro will be uh, on it <laughs>